All right, so now I got the new radio set up. I'm going to try to hook up this OBD2 port uh, adapter. So this was like a $13 one off of Amazon. Uh, it's pretty easy to work. Just plug it in down here. So you can see. Plugs right in. Lights on. Now I'm going to go to the... Bluetooth screen here. I'm going to try to turn this brightness up a little bit. Still probably kind of hard to see, huh? Alright, so hopefully this will make it out in some way. Go to link. It's not working. So let me just search. Scanning for Bluetooth. Actually, sorry, before we do that, you go to the settings. I'm setting my join to 1234, which is the password for the OBD2 port. Our adapter, not port. We got that set. Now we're going to search for it. Uh, it's not bit bit. Not really looking for that. Should see it. Didn't see it. Scan again. Still not seeing it. I'm going to unplug it. Three plug it. So it's unplugged. Plugging it back in. Skylight. Scan for it. Still not seen. There we go. Don't know why it worked that time though. So once you find your guy, so you see OBD2 port there, our adapter. Get that guy. I'm trying to connect it. It's gonna ask for a password. Again, 1234, that was on the box, that's how I know it's what it was. Enter it, should be pairing. And should be paired. Doesn't look like it's paired. Disconnected, so let's connect it. Pairing. And we'll show them paired devices. We'll see if that actually works or not. Alright, I'm going to pause this. Alright, so install Torque. Let's see. Nighttime, so it's a pretty blurry. It says profile not set up. Let's go to adapter status. See if that sees it. You can see it says right there, it says connected to OBD2. There we go. So it should be working. There you go. So I can see our rev. You can see my revs count there. When I rev it up, you can see it moving. Uh, if we go to real-time information, you can see. Now I haven't set up a profile for the Jeep or anything like that, but you can just see it clearly is. 
getting data. So that should answer that question. 